Okay, everyone, I just caught this little bass right here out of the creek. It's not really little, he's probably about two and a half, three pounds. But I saw some of far larger than him. I'm gonna get them as soon as I can. All right, I'm gonna take a picture and release this fish. Here's another bass of my first cast. I'm just gonna let it focus, you know. Seems a little bit out of focus at this point. There we go. There it is. I can get a picture and release them. Yeah, I just caught this bass off a of night crawler. And uh yeah. I was trying to get a bluegill for bait, but this is nice too. Just caught this large mouth right here. It's probably about a good 18 inches long off a night crawler. And they're really hitting these for some reason. I'm not able to figure out why these particularly, because I was planning on using live bluegill today. I don't even think that's going to be necessary. I want to photo him and get him back. It's another bass. I thought the last one was scrawny. Look at that. It's paper thin. Absolutely paper thin. I'm going to get him back. Would have been a good, probably about two and a half pound fish, but it's probably a difficult time pushing one at this point. Anyway, another bass. There were two sitting there. This one was the smallest of the two, and we'll get the bigger one next. I'm just using the original uh, floating repeller. Those dogs won't shut up and back me. It really sucks. Right, I throw them back. Right. Okay, everyone. I just caught the biggest bass I've ever caught out of this creek. Right here. Whoop. Stop. Alright, here we go. Here he is right here. Probably a good 19 inches. Fairly large fish. Set him out on the ground just to show you what we got here. And yeah, fairly big fish. And uh, hit my original floating Rapala. And uh, decent fish. I'm gonna get a good picture of them and uh, release them.